Alveolar dead space refers to the volume of ventilated air in the alveoli that does not participate in gas exchange due to a lack of perfusion. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Alveoli are the tiny air sacs that are arranged in clusters within the lungs where the gas exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide molecules takes place. During a breathing cycle, we take in oxygen during inhalation while removing carbon dioxide during exhalation. This process is known as alveolar ventilation. And for it to function properly, the amount of ventilation must match the amount of perfusion in the alveoli of the lungs. This means that there should be a balance in the ventilation to perfusion ratio. Ventilation refers to the amount of air that enters and leaves the alveoli. For the body to be able to obtain oxygen, there first must be sufficient amounts of air that reaches the alveolar region of the lungs. Perfusion, on the other hand, refers to the amount of blood that flows to the alveolar capillaries. For the body to be able to obtain oxygen, there also must be sufficient amounts of blood passing through the lungs to pick up oxygen molecules so that it can be transported to all of the organs and tissues of the body. When a ventilation to perfusion imbalance is present, it means that the amount of ventilation in the alveoli does not match the amount of perfusion. For example, if a patient has normal ventilation but a lack of perfusion, this is known as a dead space condition. It means that there is a decreased amount of blood flowing through the lungs but a normal amount of air that is reaching the alveoli. The ventilated air stays in the alveoli, but there is no blood flow or perfusion there to pick up the oxygen molecules. To give a real-world example, this could be seen in a patient with a pulmonary embolism. So just to recap, an area with ventilation but no perfusion is known as dead space. And since it occurs within the alveoli, this is where alveolar dead space gets its name. Again. For this video, we just wanted to provide you with a brief overview of this topic. We'll be breaking it down into much more detail in a separate video. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.